This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Dan Crenshaw is a congressman from Texas. Dan Crenshaw, um, a true died to the wool conservative Republican, former Navy SEAL. I believe that's where he he lost one of his uh, his peepers. Was in combat. Wears a patch rather than a glass eye. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. But he was on with Dana Bash yesterday on CNN, and he they're talking about gun control. They're talking about the AR-15. They're talking about gun policy. And as someone who is is very familiar with service weapons, myself, and I would assume a, a former United States Navy SEAL, you would think he would have more of, of, a, of a respect for the damage and the carnage that can be delivered downrange with one of those weapons. But rather, obviously a conservative, rather than address guns from the, the point of sale, literally the point of sale, he wants to add more guns to the equation. He wants more armed security guards. But instead of po- going to the data and some of the research that's been done surrounding this issue, he wants more armed guards in the classroom, in schools, rather than uh, a diminished supply or at least access to the AR-15. Now, for those of you who don't know, the AR-15 was developed in the 1950s, the late 1950s, uh, and it became the M16A1 service weapon, which is just the fully automatic M16 that was used during Vietnam. They learned from subsequent studies that uh, accuracy in firing with a fully automatic weapon like the M16A1 is off the charts wasteful. You don't, you don't hit your intended target. You waste a lot of ammunition. So they switched the, the AR-15 to the M16A1 and then the M16A2, which has a, it's, it's a, a you got your safety, you got a three round burst and then you've got just semi-automatic. So click, 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 boom, 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 fire. Or pull the trigger and rat-a-tat, you get three rounds. Anyway, a little bit of background there. Um, because of the deadly nature of this weapon of war, many people call for gun control for lack of access, to take it off the market, a ban on civilian availability of this weapon. I am one of those people. Dan Crenshaw, though, he doesn't want to look at that element. He doesn't want to look at that avenue. What he wants to do is arm people inside of schools rather than do the thing that makes the most sense. However, I'm going to play the clip, and then I'm going to read from a study that shows he's just wrong about all of this. Watch Dan Crenshaw with Dana Bash. The truth of the matter is, if we had a minimum of of two armed guards or police officers at every single school in America, you'd probably prevent these from here on out. Well, you said that's the truth. You said that they're random. Uh, The the one through line in these deaths is that they are shootings. Therefore, they are done by guns and guns are the leading cause of death for children and teens in the U.S. So shouldn't helping save the lives of children be a top priority for you as a member of the House majority? No, it absolutely should be, which is why I say I would look to the thing that would absolutely stop this, which is putting armed police officers at every school. I, mean, I, I visit a lot of schools. I do, I do talks at various schools. It's very rare uh, that I go into a school, especially the newer ones, and they don't have some kind of armed police presence there at all times. So that's a preventive measure. That I know will, will stop this. And there was nothing like that in these last few mass shootings. There, there's no armed guards there. Um, so the so answer if, if is. If I'm just looking for guns. actual solutions, that would be it. So the answer is more guns. No, the answer is armed guards. No, the answer is armed guards, right? Armed guards, yes, more guns. The, the kind of guns that protect, protect the president, that protect you all at CNN. Is it easy to get into your headquarters at CNN? Absolutely not. There's armed guards there, yeah. there's single points of entry. I think we should look at our schools as a place that is precious uh, and, and have the same kind of security that your corporate offices do, that we do in Congress. You know, if, if we consider a place to be important where our children go to learn every day, it should have the same level of security as every other place, whether it's a, whether it's a shopping mall or a corporate office that's hard to get into. You know, you're, you're, you're not going to get rid of guns. So he admits more gr- guns 
rather than less. That's his solution, which is asinine. And studies bear that out. Here's one. Here's one study that looked at, uh, this study examined a total of 133 cases of school shootings and attempted school shootings from 1980 to 2019. First of all, this this dispels the myth that Columbine is where this started. It was the 1990s when all of this started. Before that, there were no school shootings. That, that's just untrue. It's false. So they looked at all these, over 100 shootings between 1980 and 2019. <clears throat> Here was the conclusion. First of all, I'll read the, the title of the study presence of armed school officials and fatal and non-fatal gunshot injuries during mass school shootings, United States, 1980 to 2019. Based on theory, multivariate models include the presence of an armed guard and control for region, school type, public and non-public, and grade level, high school, elementary school, and other, location, uh, meaning urban, suburban, rural, use of lockdown drills, if the attack was targeted, total number of weapons brought to the scene, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, number of shooters and the weapon type. Results are presented as incident rate ratios in table two, which they have here, and show armed guards were not associated with significant reduction in rates of injuries. In fact, and here's the kicker that members of Congress would be well to know. In fact, controlling for the aforementioned factors of location and school characteristics, the rate of deaths was 2.83 times greater in schools with an armed guard present. So in fact, in fact, as he liked to say, the truth of the matter, he said, the truth of the matter is to prevent these from happening here on out would be armed guards in, in schools. The fact of the matter is that the cases the, of fatality of injury were 2.83 times greater when there was an armed guard. Do we know why? Not exactly why. But that should be cause for alarm that your immediate go-to is more guns entered into the equation is going to solve the problems of gun violence. It doesn't make any sense. This is why studies need to be commissioned by the government to look into what are the actual workable solutions. Common sense be damned, apparently, because Republicans want more guns. They certainly don't want to curtail access to guns. They don't want a federal red flag law. They don't want to ban the assault weapon. What do they want? Oh, let's just enter in more guns, more police presence. Let's make everything a police state in this country. Dan Crenshaw, you are wrong, kind sir. Flatly, easily provably wrong by research, by data, which Republicans tend to be allergic to. They want their feelings validated. You know, the, the fuck your feelings crowd that's what they run off. They run off anecdotal evidence. They run off what they think is common sense, which none of them seem to possess. What do you think? I'd love to know. We can mix it up in the comments. That would be great. Games the algorithm introduces uh, this channel to uh, a new audience, very possibly. But if you want to call and leave me a brief voicemail, you can do so at 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. I'd love to see you there. And if I bring you value, if I do something for you that you believe you want to help support and produce what I do here, you can click the join button, become a channel member for two bucks a month, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways to help support what I'm doing here. I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.